what's up you guys welcome back to my channel okay i'm so excited for this recipe today and as you guys can see from the title making a shrimp quinoa bowl and i am first starting off by cooking the quinoa just so i can have that cooking while i'm prepping everything else i did two cups of tricolored quinoa with some chicken broth and water and just let that simmer for about like 15 minutes and then once that was done, I turned it off and covered it up for like 10 minutes. Okay, so for our pico de gallo, I am chopping up a little chunk of red onion. You wanna mince that up really finely, you guys. Don't be a lazy chopper, have everything around the same size. It just makes it look pretty. I'm all about pretty when it comes to food. I have to eat with my eyes first and then with my mouth. <laughs> Especially when I know I'm cooking, I gotta make that look A1. All right, and then so for the red onion, I'm gonna marinate it in some lime juice so it can get that yummy, lemony, acidic flavor. Okay, and I'm using the whole lime and then I'm also gonna add for some heat, some serrano chili pepper. And I added almost the whole thing. If you guys don't like spicy, you can either leave this out. Or if you don't want it as spicy, you can take off the seeds and the white part, the membrane of the chile. That's actually what makes it spicy. Okay, and then I'm cutting up two Roma tomatoes. And I'm actually going to also take off the inside of the tomato because I don't want it to be watery. And plus, I don't really like the inside of the tomato. I'm weird like that. <laughs> I just like the flesh. Some cilantro, I love cilantro. It smells so fresh and yummy. Can't go wrong with it. I make this fresh, you guys. I know sometimes, you know, we're busy with life and we don't have time to, you know, cook or anything, but I love eating like fresh food. Like I love buying fresh veggies or whatnot. Like that's my jam. <laughs> Give me some fresh ingredients and I'll whoop you something up. Like I'm not about the microwave oven life. But anyways, enough bragging. Look how good this pico de gallo looks, guys. Yummy. And I'm gonna leave that in the fridge while I work on the rest of my ingredients. So now for the star of the dish, my shrimp. Um, right here, I'm actually peeling them. They're already deveined. You can buy them both peeled and deveined. I know they come out a little bit uh, expensive, but hey, if you're not about that life, you can go ahead and take shortcuts because why the hell not, right? <laughs> okay, so once my shrimp are already peeled, I am gonna grab a paper towel and just pat them as dry as I possibly can and put them back into the bowl so I can go ahead and season them. You can season these with whatever you'd like, guys. Um, this is just my my go-to salt, pepper. I'm sorry, it was garlic salt, black pepper, paprika, and some chili flakes. And this is my jam, guys. This is like the seasoning for my shrimp. I love it. Every time I cook with it, with the shrimp, and I add these seasonings, it just tastes so, so good. Okay, and keep in mind, you can also make this with any other protein. I just really like the mix or the combination of the shrimp with the pico de gallo, the quinoa, and the Brussels sprouts is just, ah, uh, bomb. And that was a quick snippet there of my quinoa already ready and on the side ready to get plated. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my shrimp, which I'm gonna cook in a second, but I'm gonna mince some garlic for that. My Brussels sprouts, you can use any veggie. I just wanted to eat Brussels sprouts today, so I chose that. You can either do bell pepper, you could do um, carrots, broccoli, anything. What you want is what you get in your kitchen. Am I right, guys? Hell yeah, you're the boss of your own kitchen. Can't nobody tell you anything while you're in there. Can't nobody tell me what to do while I'm in there, except me <laughs> and my stomach. Okay, you guys, so here are my shrimp. Look how good that already looks. And these don't take too long to cook. Just in three minutes, they are done. So after the minute, I went ahead and I tossed them. 
look how good that looks you guys i'm about to zoom in for you guys a little bit oh my gosh if you guys could smell these they smell so good and they are actually about ready i'm about to put them back into a container just to have them on the side while i work on these brussels sprouts and i use the same pan you guys because i don't want to be dirtying all those dishes because guess who's gonna have to clean them afterwards yeah me and i hate doing dishes okay so i'm just seasoning these up with some salt and pepper nothing fancy okay and as you can see they do have a little bit of color which is what i want and then i'm grabbing some chicken broth because i want to steam these okay because i know they're still kind of raw from the inside but not for long i'm only going to steam them for a minute okay and then once my brussels sprouts are done i am plating this So sorry about that cut you guys my phone died as soon as I was plating it but here is a picture of how the bowl looks look how delicious that looks you guys and all the colors I let me know what you guys think of this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe see you next time